Hi everyone, it is Kristen Mason Correas here today with a special market report for you. So a hot off the presses is this monthly report for June of 2024 for Northern Virginia. So normally what I share with you in this weekly market report is for the DC metro area and week over week. We, I do have that for you. I'll share some of that with you later. But I like to look at this because this helps us see the trends a bit better. And this is the chart that I have entrenched in my mind every time I'm evaluating data to figure out if the market is doing what I expect it to do or not. Because for about 15 years that I've been selling real estate, I've been looking at these trends. And this is the two-year cycle of how prices trend in Northern Virginia. So Northern Virginia today, we're specifically talking about Arlington, Alexander Falls Church and Fairfax. Those close-in areas of Northern Virginia is what this data is for. And so prices tend to bottom out here at the end of the year, December or January. If you've ever done a buyer consultation with me or Homes by Mason, you would have seen this. We would have shared it with you. And so prices then tend to go up month over month until May or June, where usually is our peak uh, in terms of prices. And then prices tend to come down and tend to bottom out again at the end of the year and then go back up. So it is not a perfect science here, but that is the trends that we tend to see. So therefore, when I'm evaluating the data, I'm always keeping this trend line in my mind to, to examine whether the market is doing what I expected to do this time of year or not. So let's look at what happened in Northern Virginia in June of this year. Prices were up year over year by 9.4%. That's a significant number and also up month over month 3.6%. I wasn't sure that was gonna happen because you can see here that actually prices flatlined from April to May. So I thought maybe we had hit our peak and also interest rates were climbing, had been climbing. And so it's interesting to see that prices did still go up from May to June. I would expect now for them to come down. Again, generally June's our peak. So that's what I would be anticipating moving forward. So up here, you can see new listing information for June was down both year over year and month over month. And new pendings were down for the month, but up year over year. And then in terms of active listings, which are slightly different than new listings, so that's the total inventory in the market, we are below the five-year average for Northern Virginia, but not at a minimum. So that's good news because for a long time we have been at the minimum. And average days on market is, was 13 for June of this year. Things do sell quickly in our market. Average sold price to original list price, right at the five-year average above asking price at 101.2% in June, which tends to be the peak of the market. So then let's take a look at the week over week data that we have now that we're a couple of weeks into July and see what this tells us. And this is for the larger area of the DC metro region. So it may look a little bit different. Showings are down year over year by 28% and down week over week 28.6%. This is not surprising to me because it is the summer to go down week over week. When we consider year over year, however, it is a little surprising that at the same time last year, we have so many less showings. That may be related to interest rates, I would speculate, that there's less buyers perhaps out doing showings because of higher interest rates this time of year than they were at last year at this time. And then purchase contracts, however, are up even though showings were down. So that's also interesting that we're up year over year, even though showings are down and they're down week over week. However, time to contract you saw was 13 days for June, 22 days right now, up two days year over year and two days week over week. It's the summer, so you might have a little more breathing room as a buyer to get a home from on the market to under contract. I'm going to remember this as we have a listing coming on the market. Um, and in case it does take longer, that the data here is showing us that's relatively normal at this time of year. So active listings is up year over year by 28%. 
and down a touch from last week. So that um, is interesting since we saw that the listing inventory was down, pull that back up. Uh, it was here, we saw that new listings were down. Although again, new listings is a little bit different than active listings, but um, just the point here to make is that the DC metro area and the Northern Virginia area may look differently and your neighborhood and your specific area may behave differently than what the larger area looks like. So I like to share this information with you so you have an idea of what is happening in the market in our area. But if you do ever want to look at the data and the information specifically for your neighborhood that you live in or a neighborhood that you're interested in buying in, reach out to me anytime and I can run the data specifically for a different area for you. Happy to do that. You haven't figured it out. I'm kind of a geek with this stuff. I enjoy this stuff. So that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. And if you do want more information about what's going on on Mondays, I do a broader Monday market update on my uh, Homes by Mason business page on Facebook. So you can find me there on Mondays around one o'clock is when I do that. Actually, I'll be doing it a little bit earlier, probably this Monday, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, but if you don't watch me live, you can watch the playback anytime on Facebook at the Homes Bay Mason business page. So thanks for watching me today and I hope you have a great weekend. Take care.